Okay, so on this problem, it asks you to factor this huge thing. And if you notice, and you look closely at this, it's not quite as intimidating as it looks because you actually only have two terms. Right? There's only two things that are multiplied together, that have things that are multiplied together in them. So what you need to do is you need to pull out things they have in common. So let's just first look at the first term here. We got a 2x minus 7 and a 2x minus 7. So you've got that in both places. So I need to pull out 2x minus 7 to the lowest power, which turns out to be 2. And then if you look at the numbers, you've got a 6 here, a 4 here. So really inside this one, we've got 24. And then a 3 here and a 2 here, so we have 6. So what can we pull out of both the 24 and the 6? Well, we can pull a 6 out. Right? We're pulling that 6 out. And then you look at the 4x plus 1 to the 5th. Well, I've got two of those, and the large, smallest power of those I have is the 5th power. So I'm going to pull out 4x plus 1 to the 5th. Now I look to see what I have left over. Well, the 2x minus 7s, in this first term I have 1, 2x minus 7. I have a 6, and so I have a 4 left over, so times 4. And then I have 4x1 plus to the 5th, where I've already taken out all 5 of those 4x plus 1, so I don't have to include it. And the second one, I took out 5 4x plus 1, so that leaves me with 1 4x plus 1. And then I did take out a 6, and so I have nothing left over. I took out all the numbers possible. I took out that 6. So I should simplify what's inside here. So 6 times 2x minus 7 squared 4x plus 1 to the 5th. So this is going to give me 8x plus 4x, which will give me 12x, and then negative 28 and 1, which will give me negative 27. So your answer is... 6 times 2x minus 7 to the second, 4x plus 1 to the fifth, times 12x minus 27. And you always want to be careful because occasionally you can factor this more. And actually, we could pull a 3 out of both of those. Probably be best if we did. So let's go ahead and pull a 3 out of both those. So that's going to give me 18 out front because I pulled the 3 out. 2x minus 7 squared, 4x plus 1 to the fifth. And then I pulled the 3 out, so that leaves me with 4x minus 9. And I am done. That is, that is how you factor that complicated problem. You just look for whatever they have in, in each one and then factor it out.